Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, we give all the praises and the glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Raka for Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rekakwadash. We give double honors to our beloved true teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men. Shalom to the one third, the hopeful elect of men, women, and children. All the praises is forever given to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Amen, so be true. So be true. Beloved brothers and sisters and children, so be true. Lord willing, I hope and pray that is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. My name is Brother Ahab, and I would like to talk about it shall come to pass through much tribulation. It shall come come to pass through much tribulation. We're talking about the kingdom of heaven, the new rulership. Is near approaching. It shall, it will come to pass. But you have to go through the tribulation. So the inspiration for this lesson, from time to time, our beloved brother, Lord willing, if I remember, I put his channel in the description box. All right? And he does beautiful lessons. He uplifts your spirit. Because we know what's going to come because of the balance. Through much tribulation, we have to go through the tribulation in order to enter into the new kingdom of heaven. So our beloved brother, Manatazak Baniyam Yan 144, Lord willing, I'm going to put the, his lesson in the description box, right? It is your father's good pleasure to give you what? The kingdom. All right? That's the name of his lesson. 144,000, the elect. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Right? So I had to take a couple of, um. you know, still pictures of his lesson. All right? This is one. And there's many of them, right? Something to look forward to. Lord willing, we are of the elect. That's why we say, Lord willing, first and foremost, we are of the elect. The elect. Many are called, but few are chosen. Okay? Here's one picture. Here's another one. All right? You could pause it. Here's another one again. You know, the streets, right, are going to be like glass. You're going to be walking on glass. But we know we have to go through the tribulation. Much. It didn't say tribulation. It says we have to go through much tribulation. But it's something that we have to fight for. It shall come to pass, beloved brothers and sisters and children. It shall come to pass. But we have to go through the straight gate. Yeah? So, I'm not going to make this one long. Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brethren. Finally. Whatsoever things are true, the kingdom... Whatsoever things are honest, the kingdom. Whatsoever things are just, the kingdom. 
whatsoever things are pure, the kingdom, and who is this coming from? Yahweh Basham Yashai. Whatsoever things are lovely, woo, the kingdom. Whatsoever things are good, of good report, the kingdom. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think of think on these things, the kingdom. As you can see in the in the, the top corner here, the left hand corner, it says the kingdom, and the beloved brother does videos of just and imagine what the brother's doing here. It's beautiful that of his imagination. And we still cannot fathom the beauty of it. Yeah? We cannot fathom the beauty. Look, look at those pictures. Eh? Look at those pictures. The kingdom. Right? The kingdom. So, Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, this is true. What is true? Our man, so be true. It shall come to pass. But we know it is so true again that we have to go through the, the tribulation, the much tribulation. First Peter 1 verse 13. This is the part now. Wherefore, gird up your loins of your mind. When we say gird up your loins, we're talking about keep grounded. Keep your mind grounded. Wherefore, gird up your loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of who? Yahushai HaMashach. Who's going to reveal all these things to you? To us. Yahushai, because he's going to take you out of this hell that we live in. Okay? Into a new kingdom to come, the new rulership. That's why his name is his um Alpha and Omega. Yahweh Shai. He deliverer. He's our savior. It's only going to be through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And his father's going to send him. Right? As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which have called you is holy. So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. So we have to, in order to be holy, we have to keep grounded. Our mind has to be on a level of holiness, righteousness. But we have to go through the tribulation, the trials and tribulation. In order to go through the trials and tribulation, you only can do it via the book. The scriptures. And you have to be taught by men, which is our head apostles. Because it's all about the dark saints. You're not going to, you, anyone, no one can come pick up the book and read and understand the dark saints. The signs that are written. It has to be taught to you. It has to be broken down to you. Alright? So you have to keep grounded, minded via the scriptures. You have to be holy via the Holy Spirit. Through the spirit of the names of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Right? Because it is written, written what? In the scriptures. Be ye holy, for I am holy. All right? So we have to gird up our loins. Be sound in doctrine. Because the doctrine is pure. The doctrine is stable. Unmovable. There's only one true doctrine. Right? There's only one name. There's only one truth. There's only one baptism. Right? Listen, man, again. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end. Right? 
he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. For the grace, and we're under grace now. This is why, you know, oh, Apostle Taha was going into the, the other day about the grace. Elders are bringing it out. The grace that we're under. And you're taking it for granted. The Lord is so merciful. The Lord is so deadly. He's so loving. It is his great pleasure to give you the kingdom of heaven. We are under grace. Use that grace period. Okay? And we all fuck up. We all mess up. We do wrong things. But because of the love of Yahweh Basham Yashai, the Lord has given us grace. And just because the Lord has given us grace, we must continue in to try to strive for the best, to try to be as perfect as Yahweh Basham Yashai. Walk in the right paths. Right? That it that is he brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashak revelation. Right? Who is going to reveal all this to us? Let's go into the word revelation. Strong's G six oh two Apocalypses. Apocalypses. Revelation to be revealed, to to lighten, manifest manifestation, coming, appearing. Huh? Who is going to come? Who's going to who's going to appear before us? Lord willing, if we if we we are the elect, Lord willing. Right? Who is going to appear before us? Who is going to deliver us? Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right. He's going to reveal all things to us. Right? Isaiah 33 verse 6. We read this all the time. This is why we have to gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober. We have to keep grounded. This is another scripture now to back that up. Isaiah 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability. It keeps your mind stable. This is what we have to hold on to. Yeah. That's why I use my beloved brother. Because he does beautiful videos like this. To, 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 to make us feel uplifted in the spirit. Yeah. The kingdom. Look how beautiful those pictures are. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation. What? Through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. We have to fear Yahweh Basham Yashai. What's keeping us stable minded is the fear of Yahweh Basham Yashai. Basham Rikar Kodash. Okay? They that call upon the name of the Lord, the same shall be saved. Paraphrasing. You have to fear our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham Yashai. Have to. Wisdom and knowledge shall and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability, keeps you stable, grounded. Sometimes we messed up, but listen to we know what is coming. We know the tribulation. I'm going to bring it out now. We know the tribulation that we have to go through. But as the beloved brother, he puts up these videos to give you an uplift because yes, we have to go through the tribulation, but what's coming after? Because we have to go through the war, the physical war, the spiritual war. And war is coming. But we have to go through the hour of temptation. But because we try to gird up our loins of our mind, we try to be stable-minded through the wisdom and the knowledge and understanding through the teachings from our apostles, this is what's keeping us going. And yes, we feel messed up in the spirit sometimes. Sick. You feel unworthy. You feel downtrodden. And prosecution is coming. Because what? We are glorifying the names of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Basham Rekar Kodash. This is what it is, the scriptures that is keeping us going. The true prophets of our Lord is keeping us going. 
The Holy Spirit is keeping us going. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Who's great? Whose movie is this? This tribulation that is coming, who's created this tribulation? You see, that's why you have to be stable minded. All right? But we know there's a treasure that is coming after. I'm going to read that in the NLT, right? No, Salakia, Salakia. What I just read, Isaiah 33, verse 6. Wisdom and knowledge. The next one is Matthew 24, verse 21. This is what I want to read. Then I'm going to get to the NLT after. So this is the King James Version. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. This, to this time, no nor ever shall be. Wow. I'm going to say it again. This is the King James Version. And Lord willing, I'm going to read it in the NLT. Matthew 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation. You remember this? It says, through much tribulation. Such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time? No nor ever shall be. Let's go to the NLT now. Matthew 24, verse 21. New Living Translation. For there will be great anguish, same tribulation, than at any time since the world began. And it will never be so great again. So it's saying the same thing, but in a different way. But it says the same thing. All right? Through much tribulation. Okay? So we know this via the scriptures. We know this via the teachings from our teachers. We know this through the Holy Spirit. And we have to keep on girding our loins, which is our mind. And this is why, again, from time to time, our beloved brother does videos like this to know that we have, we're fighting for something. We want to get out of these chains of darkness. We want to get out of it. We are fed up of it. Just because I'm talking here and like this now, vibrant and happy, you think I'm? We, we're not going through it? We're going through the fucking hell. All right? The tribulation, much tribulation. All right, through much tribulation, we have to go through, and we're all going to be tested with the RFID chip, every one of us. And it's a fearful thing, right, to fall into the hands of our living power, Yahweh Sham Yahushai. This is why we say we are living in hope. We are not high-minded. We are living in hope that the Lord has mercy and says, yes, I choose you and I choose you and I choose you. Many are called, but few are chosen. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right? Listen, you must fear the Lord. The Lord promised and he says that he's not going to forget the labor of your love, love of your work. Right? But the law could do anything that pleases him. He could he, the law does not respect a person. He could do anything. This is why we have to fear our Heavenly Father and pray that Lord has mercy upon us to the end. To get into the to the holy, into the chariots. Alright? Matthew 24, verse 21. In the King James, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, nor ever shall be. It's going to be deadly. It's going to be different. All right? It's going to be a time of darkness, a time of gloominess. Imagine the scripture says, even though the, the, the elect are going to be scarcely be saved. I'm just paraphrasing. 
the elect is going to make it, but they're going to be scarcely be saved. On the edge, on the brink of it. So it's not going to be a smooth walk. No way. Second Timothy 4, verse 7. Right? I'm going to read this in the NLT version. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. And I have remained faithful. This is what the Lord wants us to do, to remain faithful through the trials and tribulation. What? Through, the, through going up your loins of the mind. Right? Wisdom and knowledge. Reading the scriptures. Praying. Fasting. Being obedient to our teachers. To our parents. Which is our spiritual parents. Also your physical um, um, parents too. If they're still alive. And also to our spiritual parents. Which is our teachers and great millstone. Elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Remain faithful. And now the prize awaits me. The crown of righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteousness judge. Will give me on the day of his return. He's a redeemer. He's a saviour. Yahushua Mashiach. And the prize is not just for me. But for all who eagerly, we all eagerly waited for Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Eager. We pray that the Lord could come back as in, as in tonight, but prophecies need to be fulfilled. Okay? The RFI, RFID chip needs to be accomplished. But when they're about to fill their belly, you're going to start to see things moving. And the prize is not just for me, but for all who eagerly look forward to his appearing. All right? So don't get it wrong. When you I come back, you know, it's good for, for two reasons. For, for deliverance and for destruction. So we hope and pray that our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashamesha, has mercy upon us. Okay? Because we have to go through that trials and tribulation, through much trials and tribulation, to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right? The kingdom, the kingdom, the paradise. And that's going to be eternal. It's going to be happiness. It's going to be no more turning back. Hope and pray that this is edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Baasham Yahushai. Brock of the Yahweh Baasham Yahushai Baasham Rekakudash. And always we give double honors to our teachers of Great Millstone, head apostles, elder bishops. Come down. All right, we are very grateful and thankful for our teachers. Keep on praying that the Lord keeps the Holy Spirit on us and to increase our spirit. Right? All the praises is given to Yahweh Baasham Yahushai. All the praises is given to Yahweh Baasham Yahushai. And as always, all the praises is given to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekakwadash. Right? The kingdom is near at hand. The kingdom is near at hand. Okay? Shalom.